Greetings, Unsettled Souls. A massive Fukushima update is underway. Megan Rice, uh, she crusaded against nuclear weapons. She dies at the age of 91. And uh, a lot of people, kind of like Karen Silkwood, uh, they don't know who some of these people are who have done so much good for mankind as a whole. Um, and uh, this definitely needs to be looked at. This can't be overlooked. Um, in the summer of 2012, in the middle of the night, an 82-year-old Roman Catholic sister hiked over a wooded ridge in East Tennessee and with two fellow peace activists intruded into a government facility nicknamed Fort Knox of Uranium. Remember, we covered this on the show at the time. They evaded patrols, they cut through censored fences, entered a shoot-to-kill zone, and, with relative ease, uh, reached their target which was a looming white building that contained a stockpile of material for nuclear weapons. On its exterior wall, the trio splashed human blood as a symbol of the cost of war and spray-painted biblical messages such as, The fruit of justice is peace. Sister Megan Rice and her compatriots, heroes, I would say, Michael Wally and Greg Bajorte Obed, declared this an act of protest and love in the service of a higher law, but the incident prompted a two-week shutdown of the facility, and they were charged and convicted of intending to endanger the national defense, which, again, that's a misappropriation. You could give them breaking and entering, you could give them a number of other uh, um, charges, but that there is, is done to protect the nuclear industry to make an example out of people who were actually correct when the nuclear industry wasn't. They spent about two years in prison. Well, locking up an old lady, that's good use of tax dollars. They spent about two years in prison, one release and vindication on appeal in 2015, and helped inspire other activists and works of journalistic nonfiction. Sister Rice died, unfortunately, August 10th, just five days ago, at the residence of her religious order, the Society of the Holy Child Jesus, in Rosemont, Pennsylvania. She was 91. The cause was congestive heart failure. I'm glad they didn't say natural causes. I hate that. Said Colleen Carroll. She's the director for communications at the Society. Has any empire or aspiring superpower not declined, not fallen apart from exceptionalism into decadence? Sister Rice, dressed in a beige inmate jumpsuit, knocks in, Fort, in Knoxville, Tennessee, on courtroom, and, on, excuse me, they, they butchered, as you can see, the typing of this, but when she was in court, that's what she said, in 2014, uh, February, we had to come to this facility to call it to transformation. The facility, the Y-12 National Security Complex in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, would not be transformed. It would instead proceed with the construction of the new uranium processing facility projected to cost over $6 billion. So what they did is they built a nuclear power plant, which is going to cause cancer, even when it's uh, running properly, due to really routine releases. And yet they knocked up the sister who was actually correct in her science and correct in her warning. But that's what they do to even the elderly when there's six billion dollars at play. We want to thank you for pointing out some of the problems in our security, said Representative Joe Barton uh, during the hearing in 2012. Mr. Chairman, that young lady there brought a holy Bible. If she'd been a terrorist, the Lord only knows what could have happened. And think about that for a minute. We keep hearing how safe and secure our nuclear sites are. Really? Let's play devil's advocate. Let's ask the question that that Republican asked. What if she'd been carrying a weapon instead of a Bible? What if she'd held people hostage and got inside? What if she had some way to make explosives in a way that could create a dirty bomb situation at the nuclear power site? These aren't hypotheticals. It was done by an, a, 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 an elderly sister of the Catholic faith. 
wasn't exactly done by trained ISIS. And they're trained now. It's not like the video used to be. They're trained now because we trained them. Oh, they were moderate. I'm sure they were moderate until they became not moderate and joined ISIS after they took our training by convincing us that they were moderate. So what if this sister had been one of them? Let me know in the comment line, friends. I'd like to hear from you.